primary targets to have a Make in India inverter by early 2026. We're not selling Mercedes or a BMW. We are selling a product for the masses. What we visualize is to reach the masses, to go to the interiors of the country, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from Gujarat to Mizoram. 90% of the consumers who are coming to the truck, they've not seen micro inverter. Each and every panel has an individual input inside the inverter. So if one panel fails or there is a shadow or there is some issue, the other panel will not get affected. We can easily get on a, on a yearly basis somewhere around 1000 units of extra generation. So we, as, as a standard, we are giving 12 years of warranty. It's a replacement warranty. Welcome to another episode of Conversations with Saur and Raji. Uh, today we have a really interesting company, which is actually making a very, very premium solar product affordable for many more people in India. Uh, welcome, Robin Burgess. Uh, he's the Deputy General Manager at Hoy Miles. So, welcome, Robin. We hope we have a really interesting conversation. Welcome to the show. Uh, thank you, Prasanna and Energy for inviting us and you know explaining what Hoy Miles is and what we are doing for the Indian market in the coming years. Great. So, before we just get going, I just want you to tell us a little bit more about Hoy Miles, what it offers. I know it stands in my mind for micro inverters, but what else does the company have besides that? If you talk about Hoy Miles, uh, our primary product is micro inverters, but we're not limited to micro inverters. We have other products in our you know, portfolio as well. We are present in more than 150 countries as of date. Uh, we have four manufacturing bases across the globe. And hopefully if everything goes well, uh, we are looking forward to set up a manufacturing base by the early next year in India. Okay. So that is our, you know, one of our primary targets to have a make in India inverter by early 2026. And uh, talking about the product line, uh, like I said, not just limiting to micro inverters, we are into uh, home energy solutions. We have hybrid inverters, we have you know, battery storage for homes, for uh, CNI segment. Also for utility as well, we have you know, standalone con containerized uh, BSS solutions. We also are venturing into utility scale uh, on-grid inverters okay. as well. So we are going to launch a 350 kilowatt okay. string inverter in the coming few months. So that is a part of our you know, uh, product portfolio. And also, apart from that, we are into EV charging as well. Okay. So globally, we have a EV charging system. If you look at Hoy Miles overall, you know, uh, motto as such is providing an affordable solution to the masses. Okay. That's what the you know ideology behind the company is. We are not selling Mercedes or a BMW. We are sure. selling a product for the masses. And our you know main motto is to you know uh, okay. to have a Hoy Miles product in each and every solarized home in India and the globe. Okay, so talking of the Mercedes and BMWs, we are seeing this very interesting truck at various events and I believe it's now traveling across India. It's the Hoy Miles truck. So you must have thought of many options when you plan to market strongly in India. Why the idea of a truck? Tell me. So, you know, what I understand with the truck, you know, why we launched the truck. Basically, if you look at the government initiative, the PM Surya, you know, right. scheme, it has, you know, turbocharged the market right from a slow growth market i mean the residential you know uh, segment was no, was nowhere we are in, sure. you know in picture yeah. compared to the other you know mm -hmm. uh, segment the cni and the utility segments so you now this has you know pushed the market all to all together the dynamics have changed yeah. right now and you know the only challenge what we felt was the awareness about micro inverters that was not anywhere near you know there were other brands in the market but you know, comparing them also, they were, you know, their market share is negligible. Sure. So, we as a brand needed to do something to create awareness. And that's where the truck came in. With the truck, what we visualize is to reach the masses, to go to the interiors of the country, from Kashmir to Kanyakumari, from Gujarat to Mizoram, you know, everywhere where we can go. Uh, we were discussing with our marketing team how to get it ahead, how to go ahead with the, you know, marketing for the PM Sujagar scheme. You know, if you look at this traditional, you know, ways of marketing, uh, you know, you know roadshow, I mean, the uh, traditional, you know, events or distributor meets yes. or exhibitions, they are very slow paced. Yeah. You know, probably in a year's time, we may be able to cover only, you know, 12 to 15 yeah, and cities. Consumer and consumer involvement is also low because you don't really find low. a solar dealership like that. Exactly, you know. Uh, you know, we will be very limited. Our reach will be limited with the traditional, you know, uh, marketing, you know, ways. So that's where the you know, truck came into picture. We wanted to give the feel, the touch and feel of the product to the end consumer. With the truck, we are going into smaller towns and cities, you know, showing them what a solar inverter looks like, what a micro inverter looks like. They've not seen micro inverters right. before, right? 90% of the consumers who are coming to the truck, they've not seen micro inverter. They don't know what sure. a micro inverter is. I can imagine. Right? 
So, and with our truck there, they can feel the product. They can see it working, right? Mm -hmm. Our technical team is there. We're educating them. So you're bringing solar to them actually. We're, we're taking Fantastic. solar to them. Yes, that is the whole ideology behind it. So how, I mean, how do you feel about the truck uh, idea now? Has it worked well? It's been a you know, fabulous journey till now. Like I said, you mm -hmm. know, it's almost three weeks, you know, since the truck is running. It's ventured into, you know, the state of Kerala. Okay. And, you know, we're seeing an Im immense response from the customers, to, from the installers, from their channel partners. You know, we've been going to smaller cities, towns, educating customers. We, we you know, our technical person and our sales team goes with the truck. We are doing training sessions for these installers, for our channel partners, mm -hmm. for the customers they are bringing in. And we've seen on-the-spot conversions. So in right. the last update from my sales team, uh, We've seen on the spot one version daily at least two to three conversions happening at this you know spot wow. itself. Okay. Uh, one thing that happened was you know one of our installers you know who had done a hundred kilowatt site earlier in Kerala, you know, um, they came to the truck. They bought in there you know, uh, you know channel partners mm -hmm. and other you know customers as well. And you know out of that two of them you know immediately signed up for five miles. They said they we want. Okay. Five miles. So that is the response we are getting from you know the truck. So also going forward, I think you know in multiple cities that we do, that we are doing. So for South India, we plan around twenty twenty five you know cities and nearby you know, towns. We will be there. Our team will be going to you know the customers, training them. Training is an important part of our you know journey. Mm -hmm. We are there with the truck and we are educating our customers. That is the main you know focus with the truck creating awareness and education about micro inverters. That's a very successful truck ride right? exactly. and I guess we'll see a lot more trucks from other other companies probably, too yeah, possibly. Probably. Yeah. <laughs> okay, great. So I, I'll just come back to micro inverters. You know, when I researched micro inverters about three, four years back, I realized they are simply unaffordable for Indian consumers at that time, simply because they are they were a huge premium over existing inverters. And I believe Hoy Miles has solved that problem. That's one. You will have to tell us about that. The second part was that uh, they seem to be a fantastic option actually for rooftop solar simply because they are apparently more safe, they are more efficient. So what more does somebody need actually from a solar system? So tell me a little bit more about that. How are they safer? How are they more efficient? And more importantly, how have you made it affordable? So talking about micro inverters, uh, so it's a whole different league of you know inverters. It's a different class of inverters basically. Uh, you know, people know like there are if you broadly classify inverters, there are string inverters, there are central inverters, and then sure. there is a micro inverter, and then there's a fourth technology called an optimizer based technology. Okay. So you know there are four like said like I said there are four different classes of inverters. Micro inverters being one of them, and as the name suggests, micro means small. So the whole concept of micro inverters works on a principle of distributed architecture. Mm -hmm. Distributed architecture means for every few panels, you will be having a small inverter. Right. Unlike a string or a central inverter where, you know, there is an inverter for a whole bunch of modules, solar modules or solar panels. Like in a string inverter, you know, if you look to talk about a small system, say a 10 kilowatt system, 18 to 20 solar panels will be connected to one inverter. Right. Right. Or if you talk about a commercial system, 100 kilowatt, around you know 200 panels will be connected to one inverter. Mm -hmm. But in our case, or in the case of a micro inverter, there will be multiple smaller inverters which will be connected to one or two panels or four panels at the max. Okay. So what happens? So you can have a micro inverter in a single panel as well. In a as single panel as, as, as well. There are, like, there are different options available okay. in the micro inverter technology. There can be one is to one. That means for one panel, you'll have one micro inverter. Okay. There, there, are, there is two is to one. For every two panels, there are there is one micro inverter. Okay. And then there is a four is to one micro inverter for where four panels will be connected to one so micro So you have inverter. capacities ranging from, just give me a sense. So right now for uh, the Indian market as such, right. we have a one kilowatt micro inverter which okay. basically connects two panels. Okay. We have a two sure. kilowatt micro inverter which connects four panels. Okay. And we have recently launched a five kilowatt micro inverter as well uh, that connects up to eight panels. Okay, great. Okay. Continue. So coming back to the you know uh, micro inverter technology. Mm -hmm. So what benefit do we get with the small inverter? Like I said, first and foremost, when you connect a small number of panels with this micro inverter, you are basically optimizing the solar plant, mm -hmm. right? In what ways? So each and every panel will be controlled individually, right? Unlike the other technologies, wherein you control a whole bunch of collectively panels collectively, here you are controlling each and every panel. Mm -hmm. Each and every panel has an individual input inside the inverter. So if one panel fails or there is a shadow or there is some issue, right. the other panel will not get affected. 
Wow, that's good. Okay. So overall, your losses are reduced. You get more higher output from your panels, mm -hmm. right? Right. So what our installers are telling us, they are easily getting seven to ten percent higher generation compared sure. to other technologies with micro inverters. That is on the lower side. What, what you know, keeping it conservative? Sure. You know, if there is a shading. So you're saying even if there's a problem with a single panel, a crack or anything, right. somebody hits it. Yeah. The rest of the system continues working. Exactly. Great. Exactly. So that is the beauty of you know uh, micro inverters, right? Your plant uptime is higher, mm -hmm. right? So if in case of a string or central or any other technology, if the inverter fails, your plant dies. Sure. Because until the time because you know, one inverter is controlling all. Exactly. Okay. So your plant dies until it, you know the replacement is sent or you know the issue is rectified. That can happen anywhere between three to ten days, twenty days. We've seen sites where you know two to months the whole site is shut down, right? Sure. But here, if one panel fails or even if one inverter fails, only two panels are getting affected, right? Your rest of the inverters and the modules are running. Fine. So you get higher generation, you get a better uptime for your plant. Your inverters are safe. There is no DC flowing through the roof. Okay. Right, unlike a standard technology like a string mm -hmm. or a central, there is a DC cabling through flowing throughout the roof or throughout the you know ground where the right. you know solar plant is situated. And DC is very dangerous, I would say. Very dangerous. Yes. So you know, thousand you know, if one if you connect a single string, almost five hundred thousand volt of DC is flowing through the string. And in today's scenario, if you look at the commercial side, almost fifteen hundred volt of DC is flowing mm -hmm. through the you know rooftop, right? 500,000, even something more than 100 volt of DC is dangerous for, uh, for so a human life. So at the life. panel stage itself, you're saying it's exactly. AC current, so exactly. that makes it safer. So, you know, at the panel stage, your DC voltage is around 50 to 55 volt. That right. is what, you know, the current generation of modules are putting somewhere right. between 45 to 55 volt. Okay. And 45 to 55 volt is pretty safe. We're carrying our phones, chargers and all those things. Yeah. They, they work at 55, 60 you know, right. volt of DC power. So that is human safe. But anything beyond that is kind of dangerous. Okay. And, you know, we are limiting it below that 55, 60 volt of you know DC power. So it's totally human safe. And more importantly, affordability. Right. So, you know, I'm talking about Hoi Miles. Hoi Miles, the vision of the brand or the motto of the brand is to provide an affordable solution to the you know masses. Right. And for that, we've kept our you know um, pricing at a very affordable, you know, uh, uh, pricing, basically. Uh, I'm not saying that we are low cost. Mm -hmm. Or like the string inverters, or we are expensive like the you know European or the American you know inverter brands. We are somewhere midway, and we are actually targeting or giving the customers the value that should come with the inverters, right? We are fifteen to twenty percent higher than what a string inverter would be, right? But that comes with extra warranty, that comes with higher generation, that comes with safety, that comes with design and OEM flexibility. Tell me, for, for a layman, if we talk about uh, generation returns and the ROI for the extra money you invested, what are we talking about? Just give me an idea. I mean, let's say for a 3 kilowatt system, that's the common size. Yeah. So, you know, talking about exact numbers, you know, it can be controversial. Roughly, yeah. yes, Roughly yeah. if you say, on an average, with the help of a micro inverter solution, we can easily get on a, on a yearly basis somewhere around 1000 units of extra generation. That is a you know, ballpark figure. Yeah. It can go up and down, but general what the and what our installers have experienced, that's what I'm telling you. Right. So with 1000 units, you know, talking about our electricity rate is somewhere around 6 to 7 units per, you know, uh, 6 to 7 rupees per unit. Right. So you can gain around 6000 to 7000 rupees on a yearly basis in a small 3 kilowatts. So the extra amount is recovered literally within a year or exactly, two years. Exactly. Exactly. So we, as as a standard, we are giving twelve years of warranty. Okay. So it's a replacement warranty. So is there a time for replacement? Do you promise? Uh, generally, our distributors have stocks. Okay. We've given them replacement Almost stocks. Uh, every right. every distributor has some replacement stocks given to them. The only timeline is the transit timeline. Probably it may take Monday. It may be two or two three. But that depends on the transit time, basically. Great. I think Robin. Uh, We've covered most of the questions I had. Yeah. So thanks a lot for your time. It was a pleasure hosting you. Thank you.